Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm going to teach you how to make bulgogi. So, what I have here is a, like a one fourth, um, more than one fourth na shredded beef. Na, yun nga. So, ang gusto ko kasi sa, mga, sa beef is actually yung parang strip-strip na para madali siyang malito. And then, um, the ingredients of of this bulgogi beef that I'm gonna do is something like fusion na because um, some Koreans they don't like like it um, super sweet but then since my children are um, Filipinos at, at the same time they're Korean so fusion na yung ginagawa ko and na-adapt ko siya sa ibang restaurant because I found that it tastes better compared with those iba. So the ingredients are the following. So we have here carrots, we have here bell pepper, cabbage, onions. So konti lang yung nilagay ko yung, yung carrots, para one fourth lang ng isang ganito kalaki. Tapos um, yung cabbage, one, one uh, siguro nasa one fourth lang ng isang, isang medium size na cabbage. Onions, one only na small size. And then bell pepper, kalahati lang ng bell pepper na ganito kalalaki. And then, um, we have scallions as well, which is the onion leeks. We have mushroom. Normally, they use shiitake mushroom. So, I'll show you the shiitake mushroom. This is the dried shiitake mushrooms, but for today, I will not be using it because I want you also to to try the simple and cheaper version of bulgogi. So, instead of that, I'm buying this brand, Jolly Mushroom. Ayan. Tapos whole siya para mas okay. And then, um, I have also sesame oil, um, soy sauce, garlic, I mean, sorry, black pepper, of course, the sesame seeds, and then the bouillot, and then we have the chili powder, garlic, tashida. And I'll show you something, guys. Actually, um, I supposed to use glass noodle, um, glass noodle na pachapche to add on the bulgogi. But then, since I don't have it at the moment, hindi na ako bumili because the other day, nagluto ako ng chops and naubos na siya. Ayaw ko muna bumili right now. So, instead, I'm gonna use the vermicelli um, uh, vermicelli noodle and it's not so bad naman. Basta, kakainin siya right away yung bulgogi. So, ilalagay natin siya pagka kakainin na siya because mabilis lang maluto to. Unlike sa glass noodle, it takes around 10 minutes para maluto mismo itself. So, okay. So, we'll start from here. Okay, for now, kukuha lang ako ng gloves. Ayan, ng gloves. Imamarinate muna natin yung yung, um, yung, ano natin, yung beef natin. So, I'll start with the soy sauce. Probably, you can have it like a half, half, half na cup lang. Kasi, hindi naman kailangan madami masyado. Baka masyado, ano na siya, masyado na siyang maalat. Or pwede nga 1 fourth cup lang kasi since 1 fourth lang naman kung inaano natin. Oh, I forgot. We have to add sugar on it. Yun. And then, um, mayot. Which is, kung 1 fourth yung ano natin, yung soy sauce natin, so ito, kalahati lang. Yan. And then, bulburan lang natin siya ng black pepper. Yes, of course. Hindi ko nabuksan ka agad. Sorry, guys. Medyo marami lang ano ngayon, marami lang ginagawa today. By the way, today is Parents' Day in Korea. So, it's one of the national holiday. So, mapiprepare ako para sa sarili ko as a parent. <laughs> Yeah. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get lang spoon. So, we need this one. We need garlic. 
half, half tablespoon lang ilalagay ko. Tashida. Super konti lang. As in, super konti lang. Hindi siya abot ng, ano, ng one-fourth ng teaspoon. And then, a little bit of chili powder, which is gusto ko medyo na, ano, so half lang ng um, tablespoon. There. And then, I'm going to put sugar. Guys, medyo ma, ano kayo siguro, bakit yung sugar ko, ganito yung color. Mahilig ako magsama-sama ng, ng sugar. Merong, merong mga wash sugar lang, white. Tapos, may nagbibigay kasi sa akin yung um, coconut sugar or something. So, pinagsasama-sama ko siya para maging healthy. So, with this one, since na ang ano natin is one-fourth, so, probably, I will just put one teaspoon, of, one tablespoon of this one. Let's say one and a half na lang. Yan, para medyo patamis-tamis na kyo. Sesame oil, talagay ko na ba? Hindi ko pa nalagay yan. Sesame oil, so sesame oil, half, oh, one-fourth lang. One-fourth cup lang. And then, what we have to do right now is to mix it all together. Yeah. This is how you marinate the bulgogi. Yung iba guys, they like rib eye because yung rib eye is malambot din. Pero ako, I like my bulgogi to be cut already. So, i-request nyo sa supermarket na i-cut na nila para mas madali siyang maluto. So, I will just set aside it for a few minutes, like 10 to 15 minutes. Total pulo, kolting lang naman siya. And we will be eating this for our lunch. So, there. Lahat almost ng marinate, pagmamarinate ng mga different kinds, whether it's chicken, um, pork or beef. Ito ang main ingredient. So, if you really want Korean food, I suggest that you really invest on 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 the soy sauce, on the corn syrup, and on the sesame oil. Because, and then, basic necessity naman natin ang, ang, ano, ang sugar, and then yung black pepper, which we use also in Filipino foods. Okay. So, let's set for 15 minutes muna, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, guys. We're back now in my channel. Oh, by the way, this is Irish. Irish, say hi. Siya ang kumukuha ng mga videos ko. So, kung mali or hindi nyo makita, mag-comment na kayo para sabihin nyo sa kanya <laughs> para ma-adjust niya later. Okay, Irish. Ito na yung phone. Okay. So, pag muna akong kuhanin, mag na ako. Okay. So, na-marinate na natin yung bulgogi. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, actually guys, I have to tell you na medyo OC ako. So, lahat ng meat ko before I cook, I'll tell you, um, I will tell you my, ano talaga, before I cook it, whether it's marinated or not, I normally... I normally put water ko na. Yan. Kahit na marinated siya, or just a simple water, a simple na meat na mismo, hindi ako, hindi ako mahilig mag-isa. So what I'm doing is, I'm gonna make sure that the water will be boiling. Then I'm gonna put this one, yung meat. And then, yung unang kulo niya, tinatapon ko. Because, para hindi malansa, especially with the pork. Sometimes I do it twice because I don't like na may amoy. So, um, yun yung isang secret ko kung bakit um, siguro nasasarapan sila sa mga luto ko. It's because tinatanggal ko muna yung lansa because hindi mo alam, lalo na ngayon ma, merong COVID. So, um, as much as possible, let's clean it up, clean it up with um, boiled water bago natin siya talaga thoroughly na iluto. Yun. So, hinihintay lang natin siya na mag-boil. Okay. 
anyway, what I'm going to do right now is to put the vermicelli muna here and then hugasin ko lang muna yung mushrooms. Pinanggal ko yung mismong katas niya and then I'm going to wash it off. So let's, let's set it aside. And then, since na, yun nga, mahilig ako na yung boiling muna, ito, boiling na siya, lalagay ko na siya right away. And then, if ever na yung taste niya later, is hindi na, hindi masyado na kuha because nabawasan because of the water, yung boiled water. So, we have to adjust it using the same materials as well. Pero, depende pa rin nga. So, it's actually to check if if that's already with your panlasa. So, yeah. Like what I've said, unang boil, tapon for me. So, while waiting, panlawan ko lang to. I'll put the mushrooms here. actually smelling so good. Sana yung meat na nabili ko is malambot na. Kasi merong mga meat talaga na syempre hindi naman sasabihin sa'yo talaga sa supermarket na uy, ano yan, um, bata pa yan, matanda ba yan. So, kaya gusto ko talaga kinakat siya into smaller pieces. So, yan. Okay na to. Tapos ko ngayon yung sabaw. Pinagpuluan. dito na siya dito para nasiguradong nakagal ko yung just put it here and then iaan ko lang yung binanlawan ko lang siya guys there and then again set aside natin yung ito siya. Painitin natin yung kawali. So, since kulang na yung sa beef natin, sabi ko nga, hindi ako mahilig mag-isa. Talagyan ko lang siya ng potting water. So, probably this one is round. Um, gagamit tayo ng mga half cup of water. Yun. Oh, yeah. Half cup. Yan. Tapos, ang gagawin ko is lalagay na ako ng a little bit of chili powder since sobrang konti lang kasi nawala kanina yung essence ng niluto natin. So, mix lang natin siya dito. And then, a little bit of very little lang ng, ng ano, ayaw nga kasi na nagbibisa. Hindi ko gusto yung amoy niya. And then, that's the time that I'm gonna be putting the other ingredients. So, unahin ko yung carrots, bell pepper, mushrooms, yan. Yan. And then, of course, the onions. Kitay muna natin siyang kumulo, all together, yan. Yung husband ko, hindi siya masyado mahilig sa ma ma matamis. So, I, I have to make sure na hindi matamis yung pulbogi ko. So, nalugo natin siya na ganyan. Pero, mas maganda kung yung pulbogi nyo, ako, what I'm doing is, I'm buying a lot of meat and then, I marinate it na matagal. Sometimes one week, sorry for that, it's my husband. So, i-marinate ko na siya, tapos i-pakat ko siya in several pieces para, ano, meron akong, meron akong nakaprepare na marinated. So, hindi ko na kailangan gawin ulit ito. Pero, sometimes kasi mas masarap yung mismong beef natin is na marinate siya ng matagal. Isa sa, dun sa mabilis na na marinate. So, I'm gonna be putting the, Beef. 
now, this is the time that we will be adding some soy sauce. So now, I'm gonna be adding around 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. Once na nagdagdag ka na soy sauce, magdadagdag ako ulit ng 2 tablespoons. You have to adjust also by putting another one. So, ito isang, isang tablespoon. And then, sugar, konti lang. Ito isang kanina may na. Ayan. A color is better. mahilig tayo sa meat lang. So, lalo na yung mga nandito sa Metro Manila. Yung iba sa kanila, hindi nila alam kung anong lasa ng saluyot, ng ampalaya. So, as much as possible, I put, I put vegetables on my, ano, on my dishes para they can eat healthy. Even nga pala yung ampalaya, it can be a side dish. Gagawin na, pwede siyang gawin pickled ampalaya para masarap. And since nakakain na sila, ito ba, panlawan ko lang itong vermicelli. Gusto ko lang siyang mabasa ng ponte. And then, I'm gonna put it over here. Yun. So, Maluluto na yan ng ganyan. So normally around 2 to 3 minutes to 5 minutes tong vermicelli na ano. And that brand that I showed you kanina is actually a nice brand. So, yun. Instead of chacha noodle, which is gonna take long for you to, to ano, to, to cook it, vermicelli and mas mura. Kasi you can buy it magkano lang to compare dun sa glass noodle. Unless na gusto niyo matutong gumawa ng chop check, you can, you can invest on that. gusto nila, mas marami yung sa tao. So, sa akin, tama lang. Ayaw ka nang masyadong marami yung sabaw, ayaw ka nang masyadong marami ano, kasi hindi pa sinasabaw nila. Pero it's up to you guys kung gusto nyo dagdagan. Pero you have to dagdag the, the other ingredients para masaya, para masarap, para ma-achieve mo yung same taste. You have to try it. So I'm gonna try the beef itself.
bubuyot. Para mas, ano siya, mas, hindi a little bit of water. Para mas, medyo maluto yung beef. Kasi, medyo ma, ano siya eh, ma, matiglas. Pero the taste is already okay. So, yun lang. Yun lang, pagan lang natin siya para, medyo you na know, overcook na yung vermicelli ko, pero that's fine. So, importante yung beef, medyo lumambot. Or sometimes, maganda siguro, it's pre-boiled na. Para hindi ka magtagal na magbili ko. And then, Seeds. When you serve it, you have to put again toasted sesame seeds. And then the scallions. Decoration lang siya normal, pero may effect naman siya. And there you go, we have the full gobi. So I hope you like my recipe and try it at home. Cheaper version siya, pero almost same naman siya ng lasa. So, there you go. So, till our next next video, guys. Bye!